Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, M Creator. I'm doing a basically catch up video on uh, the one I came out with uh, the crops for newer versions of M Creator. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, this version right here. It's uh, 1.7 or 1.7.1 for Minecraft 1.10.2. Uh, you can get the download link on the M Creator official site. Um, okay, so first thing is um, we're going to need three textures. You're going to need a seed texture or whatever you want to be planting. You're going to need a block te texture of the plant. And you're also going to need a food item texture. So with that in mind already, I think I have to bring them into this program as is. So we'll start with going to uh, let's see item I'm going to create something called you usually you would do your your mod name an item like the type of group it is or element type then you would basically put your item name in that just make sure it's uh, compatible with other mods but I'm just going to do YouTube um, Let's see, YouTube, uh, I think I called it Red King Seeds. So, I'm not going to worry about the item thing. So, I'm going to have to import the texture. So, it's right on my desktop. Red King, or Red, no, that's not the one. Seeds right there. So, open, you want to set it to an item because we're working with items. Now you have to cancel, go back in, or it won't show. And then you click next, give it a name. I'm going to call it Red Cane Seeds. Uh, keep it under miscellaneous, that's fine. And then make sure to check that little box down here where it says can drop as grass seed. Uh, for this case, I'm going to just bump it up to like 10. Basically what will happen is um, the higher the number, the more common the seeds will drop when a player punches grass. Um, uh, the lower the number, uh, the more rare it is when a player of it, chances of it dropping as a grass seed. So that's basically what that little box is. Um, we're not going to worry about this at the moment we're going to set up the events in a sec after we have all the elements in so next next and then what we want to do is create a new element and we want a food item um, we're going to call it red cane Then we're going to need another texture. So that one, yeah, that one. Okay. So again, select an item for your texture, and then select. And because we already imported a um a texture for an item, and you can easily just access it. So I'm going to call it Red King Food. Uh, fill out your properties depending on what you want um, stack sizes nutrients value that's how much uh, hunger like this will do like two hunger I think something around those lines so yeah so you can add potion effects and stuff I'm not going to worry about that at the moment all right so now we have that we can make our final element uh, we're going to call this YouTube um, red king plant, and we need to find plant select. Now we're going to need to select our block texture. Cancel because of that little bug there. Then select it. Then you want to go um, use growable plant type. Select that little um, radio button. And then you want to look in the drop down box under plant type and go to crop. 
And then what you want to do is adjust your max height depending on how tall you want your crop to be. So for example, um, for something that will keep producing as a renewable resource, you would want to set it at two or three or whatever is high enough for you. So um, I'm just going to select two for this tutorial because that would be what probably most people are doing. And click next. We're going to give it a name, red cane plant. Um, I'm not going to worry about all the properties. You can uh, change that to your settings. Uh, select this little tick box right here um, and choose your food type. So I'm selecting the food that we just created previously, next, and that's going to create that. Final thing we need to do is go back to your seeds, go all the way, whoop, too far, back to the events, and under this one right here where it says when clicked on block, um, uh, then it's in like brackets, and then it says hand location or LOC location, give or take. Uh, click that, and then we want to make a stacked event. So in this tab right here, uh, scroll all the way to the bottom where it says stacked event. And then what you want to do is find, uh, okay, you want block at equals equals, this little equal equal thing right here, and then item block. And then it's going to say condition, and then you want to select farmland, that's important, or it won't work. And then you want to create add event result. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but it actually opened up another window as you can see. So what you have to do in this window is add block, and then add a plus sign, plus one, so like this, so it's J space plus space one. Now that one is going to be placing the block one blo block above the farmland. If it's not set to one then it's not going to be placing it. So the next thing you need to do is go to your mod tab right here, select the crop uh, plant thing that you just created, and that part's done. So now we need to create another event in the stack event and consume item in inventory right over here and then select the item that you want to consume so in this case we want to consume seeds because we don't want it an infinite item and click add event and it's simple as that click that and click next next let that compile and then I'll go in game and show you um, basically that it works and hopefully I cleared some of those problems up in the last video. Uh, some people were having problems and stuff. Um, Alright, so it's good. So we're going to start the test environment. Just take a sec. Alright, so I am going to create a new world. Actually, I'm going to just copy this one. Recreate. Uh, that will do fine. Uh, just because there's a water source not too far away in this world. so um, It doesn't carry over any of the mods if you recreate a world, just to give you a heads up. So if we go over to this little location right over here. It could be anywhere in your world, but I'm going to be using this map or area for a tutorial. So we're going to need a hoe and we're going to need miscellaneous. I put the seeds in the wrong place, whatever. Okay, as you can see, I'm right clicking right now on the grass and it's not working. It doesn't work anywhere. But if we hoe the land and then place it, it places the block right on top of the farmland, which is good. And if we destroy it, well, of course, if I destroy it, 
that main creative is not going to drop anything. All right, plant it, game mode, zero, and it drops your food. So you can't plant this, but you can eat it. So that's the whole idea behind the um, crop thing that I was able to figure out in the last video. I hope this was helpful. Um, uh, if you want to be generous, um, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Um, if not, you know, that's cool too. It's all good. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time.